Hi, John. You look worried. What's the matter? Hi, Sue. I can't pay my rent bill this month. Why not? I don't have enough money to pay it. Why not? I thought business was good. You were telling me the other day you were designing a website for a big company. I am. It's a big contract. And I'll make a good profit from it. So what's the problem? It's a big job and will take several weeks. So? Well, I won't get paid until it's finished. And what credit terms have you agreed? What do you mean credit terms? How long will they take to pay your invoice when the job is complete? I don't know. I guess they'll pay my invoice when I send it to them. The company will pay you after 30 days, or 60 days or 90 days, depending on the credit terms you have agreed. I don't know what you mean. I didn't agree any credit terms. I just agreed the price. Didn't you specify the credit period in your terms and conditions of trade? What do you mean, terms and conditions of trade? It's the agreement you have with your client which sets out the important details, including when you'll get paid. I don't have any terms and conditions. Why not? I didn't know about them. Nobody told me. In that case, you'll be paid according to your client's normal credit period. What is that? I don't know. Why not? They didn't tell me. It's probably stated on their purchase order. In the small print at the bottom or on the back. I didn't read that stuff. Why not? That stuff is boring. Maybe. But it's important. Why? Because it says when you are going to get paid. It's a big company and they probably pay their bills after 90 days. 90 days? That's three months. Yep. So you're telling me that they won't pay me until three months after I send in my invoice after the job is complete? Yes. Oh no. How am I going to pay my rent until they pay me? Did you agree a payment schedule with your client? What's a payment schedule? It's a written agreement between you and the client about the amounts they pay you and exactly when they pay you. For example, we always ask that a client pays 50% at the beginning of our projects. That's a good idea, Sue. I wish I'd done that. Why didn't you then? I didn't think of it. I was so eager to start this big job but I didn't think about payment schedules and all that kind of stuff. You'll live and learn. That's if you don't go bankrupt first. Bankrupt? Yes. I'm afraid it's possible. In fact most businesses fail because they run out of cash. Even if a job is profitable, you will still go bust if you run out of money to pay your other bills in the meantime. In the end it's all about cash flow. What's cash flow? Cash flow is about when cash comes into your business and when cash goes out. We plan our cash flow using a simple spreadsheet. Spreadsheet? I'm a designer, not an accountant. I don't like accounts and stuff like that. It's boring. It's important, John. You won't be in business for long if you don't manage your cash flow. You can't continue to be a designer unless you can pay your rent. So what should I do? You're probably going to have to borrow money this time, just to survive. In future you need to be more organized about your cash flow. How can I do that? We can show you what we do in our business. Really? Yes. We were in the same position as you in the early days of our business. We were passionate about our creativity and thought all that business stuff was boring. Just like you, John. So what did you do? We decided we wanted to make our business financially sustainable and avoid cash flow problems. So we decided to combine our creativity with smart business thinking. That sounds like a good idea. Yes, we call it t-shirts and suits. T-shirts and suits? Yes. T-shirts and suits means that creative people like us can also be smart at business. It's all about combining creativity and business in a good way. That sounds like a great idea. Yes, it is. In fact, it's essential if you want to survive and be successful in business as a creative. But I don't really want to be a businessman. I'm a creative. I'm a designer. I think what you mean is that you don't want to be a conventional businessman, wearing a suit and thinking just about money and profits. Exactly. I don't want to sell my soul. You don't have to sell your soul. You don't have to be a conventional businessman. You can be creative and use cool business ideas that help your enterprise. Really? Yes. Look at me, John. Do I look like a conventional businesswoman who's sold my soul? 
No, not at all, Sue. I admire your creative work and your business is very successful. That's because we use the t-shirts and suits approach. We combine our creativity with the best business ideas that suit our needs and our values. Can you help me combine creativity and business? Yes. We'll show you how we do business with clients. You can have a copy of our terms and conditions of trade. We can show you the payment schedules we have agreed with our clients. You can have a copy of our spreadsheet to use for yourself. Gee, thanks Sue. And I suggest you look up t-shirts and suits on the internet. So you mean this t-shirts and suits thing is online? Yes. T-shirts and suits is the name of a book by David Parrish. It's a business guide for creative people like us. It's also online as a free electronic book. That's cool. But is it a boring business book? Not at all. It's written and designed for creative people like us, with great examples of what other creative people have done to make their businesses even more successful. It explains things like cash flow without using business jargon. Nice. I'm going to find it. And you can also join the T-Shirts and Suits Creative Enterprise Network. It's an online community of creative people to share good ideas about marketing and other business issues. It's free to join and you can promote your business there. So the book is free online and membership of this network is free as well? Yes. And there's a T-Shirts and Suits iPhone app. That's free too. So how does this David Parrish make any money? Well, he calls it a freemium business model. We heard about it on his T-Shirts and Suits blog. We use it as well. It's clever and cool. But I'll tell you more about that another day. Thanks, Sue. I'm going to go online now and take a look. What's the book called again? It's called T-Shirts and Suits A Guide to the Business of Creativity by David Parrish. Okay. And tomorrow you can come back to our office and we'll show you how we make sure we get paid by clients so we always have money in the bank to pay our rent. Gee, thanks, Sue. No problem, John.